is up everybody welcome back to our channel today i'm doing the big review and reveal of the ram 1500 big horn 2021 so really quick i want to just point out a couple points that we were looking for in the big horn because of course it's a lot of different packages and stuff like that and things you can add or take off so i want to kind of highlight what we did get and what we didn't get because upon like looking through so many dealers and so many different trucks we tried a lot basically every truck there is pickup truck there is on the market we test drove it we put we really put our time into our decision and our deal so we that's why it did take a little bit longer and along with covid everything going on um they were very backed up so we did have to drive about an hour out to get this truck because the dealers surrounding us were just not they didn't have the good deals for the best deals and they didn't have the truck that we were looking for we were pretty specific on what we were looking for and what we were okay with and what we weren't okay with so yeah let's get right into it um to begin with we chose a 15 ram 1500 big horn the night edition this is probably like my second or third time saying that of course um one thing that we did need to have is the bed liner. That was a must because it just kind of looks funky without it. I can't remember if the Tacoma had it. Do you remember? So the Tacoma has the bed liner as well. Um, what is another thing? On the outside? On the outside? Well, it was just... I think that's pretty much it. We wanted it black. <laughs> yeah, on the so outside it wasn't sure. too much. So too we many wanted things. it black. We wanted the night edition. Um, but now we're kind of like, do we really want the night edition? Because he was pointing out that some of the night edition is black glossy and some of it is black matte. So for example, these are black matte, this is black matte, but these should be black matte, not black glossy. So there's little things that um, are gonna get, you know, tweaked on our side to make it what we want to look what we want it to look like i feel like it's too blacked out right now i want to change the tires and rims so sort of like the rebel yeah and We're i want to map maybe uh matte black the grill all right we're also going to be changing these headlights to the um led ones they're like so instead of a circle it's like a line um we'll probably insert a picture for you guys or you guys probably know what we're talking about already um the I think the other main points were really inside. So let's go take a look inside. Okay, well, let's take a look inside. So like I told you guys in the previous video, this was a must, 12 inch screen. Um, we are looking to, I think it's called like jailbreak it so we can watch Netflix and stuff like that. Um, this is a different too. Um, I like I'm not used to this whatsoever. It's like high tech, fancy stuff. I'm used to it being right here, the stick, um, or right here. Another thing that was a must is the key fob. So the key fob actually turns on your car with the click of the button, which I'll show you guys right now, so we can go outside and hear the exhaust. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out is that we went with the lead with the clogged seats. And not the leather seats because again it was just a matter of the puzzle pieces were not fitting together we couldn't find the truck for the price we wanted with the other things that we wanted with leather seats or without leather seats so we just decided to take an L on the leather seats and put them on aftermarket ourselves we also took an L on no sunroof so you guys can see there is no sunroof <laughs> say hi there's no sunroof. We chose not to go with the sunroof because again, the the pricing on the little sticker, window sticker thing is not that bad for- they, they didn't have it on the big one. Yeah, they didn't have it. They had it on some Rebels, but probably like only one Rebel. And yeah. that one was like skyrocket price. Like it was Forever. ridiculous. So we chose not to go with it. Um, we probably won't be doing that aftermarket because I feel like it's not necessary. Yeah, we don't use it. You don't really use it. So we already went ahead and tinted the windows. I can show you guys a before picture and I'll show you guys after. The back ones came tinted already, 
but not the front one. So let me go and show you guys. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Another thing that really sold me off the bat was the size of this. Um, is this called the glove compartment? I don't know. What is this called? Center, no, the center. center compartment? Yeah, center compartment. It is absolutely huge. So my purse fits in there. Uh, slides up and down. We're gonna put a safe here. Oh yeah, we're gonna build in a safe. We were looking at it. What is it? What does this go for? Do you remember? Like three hundred dollars. So it's already built in with the screws. Um, just for safety precautions for some of our safety precaution tools. <laughs> um, it's not the. This one does not come with the charging pad, but it does have this little convenient thing, which is cool, I guess. The glove compartment comes with two really big ones. So there it's easy to reach and then the traditional one. There yeah, I told you guys I was going to show you guys my latest pickups. And they are the Dunk Off-White. I got the exclusive access and that's how I was able to grab them. I was so hyped. On the second day of owning it, you guys, we went straight to do a mid muffler delete. It was one of the first upgrades that it was the first upgrade that we did that was not costly because it was actually super affordable not compared to our charger that one was super pricey um so we did the mid muffler delete because we wanted it to be louder um it is louder but i feel like it's louder in the cabin than it actually is um so we might go a little bit louder i don't know what do you guys think you guys comment down below should we do should we delete the resonators just to make it a little bit louder or should we not comment down below i'm gonna show you guys what it sounds like what it sounded like stock what it sounds like now with the mid muffler delete and if we get enough comments saying we should delete the resonators i guess we'll do it right, you guys sophia's gonna show us what the five seven liter hemi sounds like stock all right so it's a bit noisy because we are in you ready baby yeah okay i'll let you know when okay All right, go ahead, babe. Let go. Just step on it and let it go. Just go like this, let it go. Okay, go ahead. Again. Okay. So what it sounds like. It's pretty quiet. That was fine? Yeah. All right, tell them we're gonna go get a muffler to leave. We're gonna go get a muffler delete one here one more time, you guys. We got baby E in the back. I don't know you guys met him yet. All right, let's go do this. Oh, and do you guys want to hear? Resonators. This man muffler right here. Yeah, is this a quick? All right, thank you. Alright guys, so I might take those off later on. It's off. She might come back and remove the resonator. Future. Final. Final product. Looks good, man.
into it, you guys. All right, so that's what it sounds like. I think it sounds really nice. I actually don't think it needs to get louder, um, but he thinks it needs to get louder. When you're going... Go. Huh? Go. I just said a little bit. Oh, I thought oh you told me to wait. Oh my god. You cut the momentum. I was just saying a little bit. I had something going there, okay. So, comment down below what you guys think, if we should delete the resonators or not. Um, because I think it's perfect. He thinks it needs to get a little bit louder. Because when you're on the street with the other street noise and the other cars, it does completely silence it out outside of the truck, but inside it sounds pretty loud. I can show you guys as well how it sounds in the inside. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. It wasn't a in-depth, review we've only had it for a week but i can most definitely review this more in depth and talk about things i didn't like and things i did like a little bit later maybe a month now from now or two months from now whenever i feel like i have enough data collected um so yeah you guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video bye